Hi, the example 6.1 from the book Design and Analysis of Experiment will be solved in this video in using the mini type. So, a 2 raised to power 3 factorial design will be used to investigate 3 factors namely gap between electrodes, the gas flow, RF power to investigate the silicon H rate for silicon nitride. Each factor has been taken at 2 levels and the design has been replicated twice. This is the data set we have. First of all, we will make such a design in the mini tab. We have three factors namely A, B, C. The low level is represented by minus and the high level is represented by plus 1. So, in the mini tab, go to stat, then DOE, then factorial, create factorial design. We have a two level factorial design with three levels, then click on designs. So, I have a full factorial design with having 8 runs in one replication. It is mathematically written as 2 raised to power 3. Here are 2 replications, make it 2 and then click OK. After that, go to the factors. The name of the factors are A, B, C, low level by minus 1, high level by plus 1. Click OK. Then go to options. Here, uncheck this randomized run. Click OK click on the result but not, we have nothing to do with then click ok and ok so we will get such a design click on this tab to view only the data then write h rate that is our response variable in the column c8 now we have to put the data so for minus 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 all of the first treatment in which all of the three factors are at low level so we have minus 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 and the replication one result is 550 and the second one is 604 so we have enter there 550 now in the mini tab uh, at the end of first replication after eight treatments we will have the second replication will get started so again minus minus and minus we will enter there 604 for the second treatment we will again go to the book so the result for the second treatment are are for plus minus minus and 669 so plus minus minus and the value is 669 the second one is 650 so here it will be plus minus minus 650 similarly our third treatment is minus plus minus so here is minus plus minus 66 six, uh, 633 601 so i will write here 633 and the same treatment we will see minus plus minus. So I will write here 601. Likewise, we will have to enter the data to save the time. I will enter it. One thing more in the book, the total of each of the two replications have been performed. But this is for the manual calculation and I have already performed manual calculation. The video is already available in the playlist. But for the analysis in the mini tab or in any software please enter this data for each replication after this after entering the data we have to analyze the design go to stat then doe then factorial analyze factorial design usually there is nothing in the response so we will have to double click on the edge rate then go to graphs in the graph click on this four in one because using this we will get the graph and with the help of those graphs we will check the assumptions of the ANOVA and the second thing go to the term and select all of the terms like A, B, C and their interactions then click OK after that go to results and click on expanded table usually it is simple table but I suggest you people to go for the expanded tables and click OK and then OK so you will get results click on this tab to, out, to view only output here the important thing is model. So first of all the model is saying that 96.61% variation in the H rate has been explained by the three factors that we have taken in our study. It means simply that if there is a 100% increase or decrease in the H rate by a lot of the factors, however the factor that we have taken they are explaining 96% of that variation. So few of the factor will may be increasing, have an increasing effect and few of them maybe have uh, decreasing effect. We will see about it in the video later on. 
Now the most important thing is analysis of variance table. Here we have to look on the p-value. If the p-value is less than 0.05, the main effect or interaction will be significant. So we can see here the factor A and C has the p-values less than 0.05, so they are significant. However, the B the factor B has a p-value of 0.746 that is found to be insignificant. Likewise, the two-way interactions A, B, A, C and B, C. So again, the interaction of A, A and C is found to be insignificant while the rest of two are significant. And the last A, B, C, so it is found to be insignificant. One thing more, remember that if your highest interaction is found to be insignificant, you can remove it from the table and its sum of scale degree of freedom will be added to the error term. Further, if we see at the graph, double click on the graph and you can see it that data is found to be normally distributed from these first and third graph is saying and the fourth graph is saying that there is no cyclic pattern or usually six data sets going upward or downward. So data doesn't have any dependency on the previous value. Further, this fitted value says that the data is found because the variation in this graph is not constant. After this step, we have to refine our model to refine it. So from this ANOVA table, it is quite clear to us that we have the significant values of significant factor only A and C and its interaction AC. So we will remove all of them. There are two ways to do so. First way is go to stat, DOE, factorial, analyze factorial design, click on the term. In the term only left A, C and the interaction of AC. Let's do it. So we have AC, click on this AC and then click on this arrow button. So we have, have only these three terms in our model, click OK. So this is our refined model in which there are only AC and AC. So we can see here, here that the still the model is explaining 96% of the variation. It means that the A and C are the most important factors in this whole study. And further, you, you can see now we got a lack of fit. Lack of fit means that our data set, based upon our data set, the model we have made is actually efficiently predicting our results. End method is quite easy. Go to stat, then go to DOE, factorial, analyze factorial design, go to the term, select all of the terms, click OK, and then go to stepwise. Here you have few options. I suggest to people to select the forward selection, then click OK. And you then again OK and you people can see the same result we got very easily as previously. Now in order to get the main effect plot click on stat, ANOVA, main effect plot, select the response variable, edge rate, select all of the factors at a time, click OK. So based upon these graph we, we can interpret that with the increase in the level of factor A there will be a decrease in the edge rate with the increase in the level for the factor B. There will be an increase in the edge rate. Further, the factor C is found to be most, most significant because with the increase in the level of factor C, there will be a significant increase in the response variable that is edge rate. So this is, one the mo this is the most important. If we want to increase the edge rate, we have to focus on low level of factor A, high level of factor B, and high level of factor C. To generate the interaction effect plot, go to stat, then ANOVA, then interaction plot, select the response variable edge rate, select the factors two at a time, A and B only, click OK. So you will get these two graph in which the two lines are not intersecting with each other. So it means that there is no interaction among them. After generating this first graph, repeat the process interactions go to the stat then ANOVA interaction plot now this time select A and C so you can see it here the two lines are intersecting so there is a significant interaction effect between these two factors now the last one go to stat ANOVA interaction plot now select B and C delete A right here B click OK and you will get a graph again. So you can see that two lines are again parallel to each other. So there is no significant interaction between these two factors. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.